What's going on guys? Cameron Lombardi back here with another stock market investing video. Today we are going to be looking at how my $400 week went last week. If you guys remember, I had plays going on with Peloton and Palantir Technologies. I'm going to show you guys how those plays closed out for the week and how much profit we made. And also we're going to get into the play that I have going on for this week as well as an exciting new company that is going to be coming onto the stock market. They have their initial public offering this Thursday. So I'm going to be looking to make a play on that as well. So stay tuned for the announcement of that stock, you guys. Before we get too deep into the video, if you guys are watching this video, I really appreciate you guys hitting that thumbs up button right below. It really does help the channel and it helps the video reach more and more people so I can continue to share the knowledge and share the wealth. And if you guys are enjoying these videos and want to stay tuned to the channel to learn more, hit that subscribe button and let's continue to grow together. All right, guys, so if you remember last week, I was selling a $107 call on Peloton, which we have right here, and I got paid $445 to do that. So again, I bought the shares around $106.90, and I sold the $107 call, and I got paid $445. So if we come over to the spreadsheet here, you can see how I have all of this documented. I bought 100 shares at $106.90, I sold the 107 call and got paid $445. Well, as you can see, Peloton has come up quite a bit. And on Friday last week, it closed around 114. So my shares were indeed called away at $107. I made $10 off the share appreciation and $445 from selling the call. If you remember, I also bought a put to hedge this play just in case Peloton stock for whatever reason tanked. I was covering my downside here. It's basically like cheap insurance. So after subtracting this from the total profits, we have a total profit of $382 or 3.57% on this play. And I was also selling a put at $20 for PLTR. Well, on Monday of last week, that put was only worth $10. So I was able to buy it back and lock in $20 of that total $30 profit there. And so my thought process is here. If you are able to close the trade after just really waiting over the weekend and make 66% of your profit here or two thirds of your profit in one day and take the risk off the table, that's a pretty good idea in my eyes. So I went ahead and locked in that $20 profit for a 1% play on PLTR. And then a little bit later in the week on Wednesday, I saw Penn National Gaming was trading below where it had usually been at. And I went ahead and sold a put at $64.50 per share, which then cost me $6,450 in collateral. I got paid $45 to do so, and I caught it at the bottom, luckily, and Penn just turned right around. Um, and the next day, I was able to close out of this trade. I bought it back for $3, and I ended up making $42 in one day on this trade, and that was 0.65%. So as you guys can see here, my total for last week was $444 or 2.3%. And over here, I'm beginning to track my total portfolio value at the end of the week every Friday. Um, so as you can see, we had a nice little increase here from week to week. And now we're going forward uh, for this week. So let me show you guys the play that I have currently going on uh, in the portfolio for this week. I'm currently holding 100 shares of an ETF called ARCG. This is ARK Genomic Revolution ETF. Uh, so this ETF actually invests in about 48 different companies, and they're all basically futuristic healthcare companies. Um, the ARK website is pretty amazing. They have a few different ETFs that they manage, and if you're curious about any of these ETFs, you can actually come right on their website here and read a little bit about each of these ETFs. And if you click on the ETF that you're interested in and you click on Fund Holdings here, it will actually show you all the different companies that they invest in. Uh, so you can choose one of these funds that you like the best and it's a pretty safe place to put your money because by putting your money here you're actually investing in basically all 48 of these different stocks and these ETFs are actively managed. There are investors and traders that work for this company that are actively trading these stocks every single day. I receive an email at the end of every day showing the different funds and what they bought and what they sold. And if you scroll down here on their website, you can actually click on the different ETFs. There's different symbols for each of them and they all invest in different things and they're actively managed by the traders. 
So let's take a look at how these funds have been performing over the last week, month, and year. Today you can see this ETF had a pretty good day. It was up about $5 or 5.56%. Over the last week, it's up 14%. Over the last month, it's up 32 And over the last year, it's up 172%. So these ETFs are absolutely blowing away the market. Any sort of return that the S&P 500 is giving investors, these ETFs have been absolutely crushing it. So for me, if I'm buying this and selling a covered call on it, you're going to get a pretty good premium because of how much the stock has been going up. And it's a relatively safe play because, again, you're investing in 48 different companies that are actively managed by this ETF. What I've been seeing, it's kind of a pattern from them, just seeing every day how they're trading. When one of their holdings gets too high, they sell off a bunch of shares. And if one of them is going down for the day, they'll buy more on the dip so that they'll ride it back up. So I really like how these guys are managing these accounts, and I'm pretty confident in this play. So if we scroll down here, you can see I bought in 100 shares at $94.79 a share. It's currently sitting at $95.01 per share, so I'm up just a little bit on the shares. So as you can see, guys, I sold the $95 call here today. And I sold it for an average credit of $4.30 a share, and that's times 100. So I got paid $430 to make this trade. Um, and again, the stock's already sitting above $95, but all I'm really concerned about is the premium that I got paid for this trade. So this is over the course of two weeks, right? So I'll be getting approximately $215 a week, and over the two weeks, that will add up to $430. Now, just like my Peloton play, I did buy another put to hedge this position just in case the stock, for whatever reason, does come down a little bit. So if we go back, we can see I bought an $86 put and I actually paid $90 for this. So yes, I am sacrificing $90 of my total profit here on this trade with a put to hedge the position. But guys, again, this is basically just cheap insurance on your position. You're, you're investing $9,000 plus into this trade. So you want to have some sort of hedge against the trade just in case for whatever reason the stock tanks. You are positioned to profit from it going down as well. And for $90 on 430 you know, I'm still making $340 over the course of two weeks on this play. And if the stock does stay above $95, I'll also make another $21 on the share appreciation, which would be $361 for two weeks, which for me is pretty good. So that's what this play is looking like right now, guys. If this does stay above this $95 mark and continues on this trend upwards that it's been having here, uh, we'll lock in about $361 for this trade. So I will keep you guys updated on this one. Now guys, there is a new company that is going to be on the stock market this week. They are coming out on Thursday, and I'm really excited about this company because I've used it so many times in the past, and I'm sure a lot of you have as well, and that company is Airbnb. So here we have an article talking about a little bit of the Airbnb IPO price. So it's looking like they're going to be coming on the market somewhere around $56 to $60. Um, so that's kind of what we're expecting right now, and again, this is going to be offered on Thursday. Um, so this is one of the most highly anticipated IPOs of the year. It's going to be pretty crazy. And uh, I'm probably going to be looking to make a play on this on Thursday. Um, so I will keep you guys updated on that. But this is definitely a company that I'm excited about because, again, I've used it so much in the past from traveling. Um, and it's such a great company. Uh, I just think that right now with COVID and everything, uh, you know, it's it may be a little hurt at the time, but over time, I definitely see the stock recovering and doing very, very well. So again, stay tuned for this later in the week. I will hopefully be posting another video showing a play that I made on Airbnb, whether I do or don't. We'll take a look at the stock and analyze it and see how it's going after the initial public offering. So looking back at the portfolio here, guys, you can see today we had a pretty good day up almost $100 and after hours puts us over 100 by a little bit. Over the last week, we are currently up $405.11. Over the last month, we're up $1,034.85. The last three months, we're up $1,960 or 11%. In all time now, we're sitting up $3,394, almost 21%, guys. So as you can see here, as I've started to get a little bit more aggressive ever since the election with uh, the wheel strategy here, you can see the pretty, pretty big uptrend that we have going on. And again, my goal by the end of the year 
This would be somewhere around $20,000. The play that I just made that I showed you guys with Art G is paying me around 340 to 361. So that added into this should be around So with that added into this, we're going to be pushing that $20,000 mark. If you guys do want to continue to follow along with the journey, again, hit that subscribe button down below to continue to learn from these videos. And if you guys want to get started on your stock market investing journey, I'm going to leave a link down in the description for Robinhood. You can click the link and download the Robinhood app so you can get started investing or just starting to familiarize yourself with the stock market and how it works. Robinhood is a super user-friendly app. I can do this from my phone on the go. I do it all the time. And that's what makes this so great is it's such an easy process. You just click buttons on your phone after doing a little bit of research and educating yourself. And you really can start to make a decent amount of money here. I mean, adding $1,000 to your monthly income is, is pretty great. So, and it's fun to watch this grow over time. And the more and more money that you have, the more plays that you can make and continue to earn more and more money on that. Again, guys, we've been shooting for around that 1% weekly profit. And we've been doing pretty well here over the last four weeks here with hitting these, these price points as we're going, getting a little bit more aggressive with the wheel strategy and seeing the profits rise and our principal value of the portfolio continue to rise. So that's going to do it for today's video, guys. If you guys did enjoy this video, again, please hit that thumbs up button below. Click that Robinhood link in the description. Download the app. Get started investing in the stock market because it really is such a great source for passive income. If you guys do have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you guys. I really appreciate all the positive feedback that I've been getting from these videos. People reaching out to me and telling me that these videos are helpful. It really makes my day. And I'm glad that you guys are taking this knowledge, applying it, and learning. So that's going to do it for today's video, guys. I'll keep you updated on how this play with ArcG goes and the initial public offering with Airbnb. Everybody have a great night and thanks for watching.